this is the security camera view to the outside of a scam call center and we're about to visit this call center and show everything to the scammers. You might be wondering how we managed to physically get inside of a scam call center, hack into their CCTV cameras, find their exact location and who all of these call centers are. Well, the answer to that question is quite simple. These guys are all working in one completely unprotected big operation in which all of them are pretending to be with the United States Federal Police. So I have your address as well. The US Marshals will raid your home and make you a peg on the roads. <laughs> The plan for this video was to get the actual police in India to pay these fake policemen a visit and shut down their call centers, but as you'll find out later in this video, that did not really go as planned. It has actually only happened one time before that we managed to get a scam call center raided by being in direct contact with the police in the scammers their city. We provided that local police department with the necessary proof of their scams, gave them the exact location, and this way orchestrated a successful sting operation. They're coming in, they're coming oh, they're in. Coming, they're, coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. The funny thing is, is that the scammers we are shutting down today are in the same exact area as our previous group behind bars, which is the city of Zirakpur in Punjab. We found out that they are actually only 8 minutes away from the global business park that our last call center was scammed from. Usually it is pretty easy to get a call center's exact location, especially if they have CCTV cameras that show the outside of the building, because one single clue can give away the position of the scammers their secret establishment. In our other Zirakpur building for example, we had a very distinguishable entrance to the location that the scammers were in, showing us a sign with the name of a store which made it a matter of 5 minutes to track the scammers down. Even if there is no visual, we can still get an exact location when there are laptops present in the office, as those have built-in Wi-Fi chips that gather the internet access points around the scammers, from which we can directly deduce a location based on the Wi-Fi names around them, like from other businesses, or else put the Wi-Fi access points into Google's API and get an exact location based on the Wi-Fi strengths from the different the BSS IDs. Unfortunately, our calls center makes use of desktop computers that don't include Wi-Fi chips on their motherboards and the outside camera views are too abstract for us to determine an exact position but luckily I remember being on TikTok and there was this guy who played GeoGuessr professionally and I thought perhaps he could help us out with his skill set. Have you ever gotten a snapchat from a girl? No. This is Thailand. Nice. This is Israel. You get the point. I decided to send him a private message on Instagram and to my surprise he actually responded within an hour stating that this might be a very hard challenge for him. I followed up with pictures of the three camera views that the DVR security system has to offer. He got to work and well there wasn't much work as it took him and his team only five minutes to find these scammers. As just mentioned they are hiding out in an apartment like building in the south of Zirakpur Punjab which was quite an exciting city for us to pinpoint them to as we now knew that we could get this call center shut down. The specific building our scammers are in is located on VIP Road, just behind but still part of the Chandigarh City Center shopping mall, where they rent out office spaces to businesses. On online listings for these office spaces, I have been able to find a few pictures of the inside of these rooms, which gives us a rough idea of the scam office's layout. There is also a lot of drone footage to be found on the Chandigarh City Center's YouTube channel, but there is even Street View on VIP Road, which made it possible for us to get a picture of the call center's front door. Street View also further confirms that the the cameras are in fact located in the south building of the Chandigarh city center as camera 8 matches up with this specific angle and camera 5 matches with this angle. To further confirm this location at the mall on VIP road, we actually managed to catch one of the scammers talking about their own location. And you know India, what they, what they, I don't like their chicken. <laughs> so shitty. The one that I gave to you, 15 pieces. From the, 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 There is a street on VIP road, when you take left, just like 100 meters away. To 100% make sure that the cameras are connected to the computers that we have access to, I decided to open the scammers their microphones at the end of a shift to line up the audio with the cameras. This coming in and going out of the call center is one of very few activities that I've been able to witness on this outdoor security view. It's pretty typical that scam call center cameras only capture the outside view as these fraudsters don't want any hackers or police watching what goes on inside of their illegal operation. Because of the lack of activity on the cameras, my hours of surveillance can get pretty boring at times, but at least I do get some company from a variety of animals like dogs, mice and rats. 
The other dirty rats in this building are the scammers. The only time I can see them is at the start and end of their shift. There's no other time that they come out. Then it seems that this might stem out of paranoia as they also always keep their doors locked. If you want to get into the office, you have to knock and wait for somebody to let you in. They are in fact very paranoid. <laughs> During my first few days of espionage, I already witnessed some agents looking up scam call center police raids in their area multiple times. Of course, if the police do actually show up in their office as well, we need to know how many scammers there are so that the authorities know how many offices to bring. This is not a problem. I simply waited for the scammers to start their shift, recorded them coming in, did a quick headcount, and there are a total of 20 scammers working this operation, of which 17 are male and 3 are female. Besides a general headcount, I also also decided to capture the faces of all of the agents that scam in the center and used AI to get a better view of who all we need to put behind bars. All these agents are guilty of scamming and more specifically of pretending to be with the Customs and Border Protection, trying to scare people with a fake drug trafficking case. Dear citizen, your recent shipment has been confiscated due to security failures so you hereby to get in touch with CBP official in order to speak with them press 1. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. My name is Officer Robert Wilson from U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Ma'am, are you expecting any kind of package coming from Mexico? I don't know. We have received a suspicious illegal package registered under your name and under your identity coming from Mexico to United States. The guy you just heard is who really confirmed to me that the computers I had access to were actually linked to the CCTV protected office in Punjab, not because he's an insider and told me, but simply because of his speech pattern. In the past, I have made some videos about African scammers in Cyprus running a crypto scheme, and this guy had a very similar way of speech to those scammers. It's uncommon to find someone with this kind of speech pattern in an Indian call center, as in my four years of scam baiting, I've never seen this ever before. So if I could find this guy on the cameras, that would guarantee my initial assumptions. What do you know? After re-reviewing the headcount footage, I found a gentleman that we have just now seen try and scam someone, and he was even nice enough to confirm his roots for me. See, uh, in high school, me I could go like in Uganda, I could go. I could even be working selling a banana, 500k. Uganda shilling. Man, we gambled. Even here, 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 when we are studying here, here in campus, here, here, here in India, in Rudiana, we gambled too. I love it, man. In the future, if I get a baby boy, if he join the high school, I will be teaching him that go and gamble. No problem, man. In the gambling, you get the knowledge, bro. Okay, so this guy is a student from Uganda, and he actually cleared up a lot of things about this call center for me by simply just being social and speaking to his colleagues with his microphone unmuted. Officer Patrick, how are you, man? I don't know. For TV period. To use one of the names, right? You which what is your real name? Leo. You have a script already. Get a call. Listen how the customer are talking. Read the script. The customer went went hung up. Let him hang up because you are not hosting custom. Every day they call like twenty thousand people. And I know that. How many calls do you make a night? Like uh, 150. You make at 150 you right now. How many yeah. people are doing CPP? And it's been two years of that. Everyone has already I received their call. Everyone has received a call in America. He is seen asking one of his colleagues what his name is. They talk about the amount of calls that they can make in a day and then start discussing what the best way is to scam people with their script. We have never been in Mexico. Now I have two options. Then I'll go ahead and read option number two ADA. This one, always customer always go with the, uh, the because he or she doesn't want to fight this case on his or her own. They may forward all this uh, information to U.S. Marshal, then U.S. Marshal will call you as a, as an opener for you are done. The work is for the for the closer. You use convincing tongue. You tell him commanding. This one is not even you don't use convincing tongue. You use command. Because you are an officer, you have to speak like an officer, bro. Because you know how the police always talk when they are inter interrogating criminals. Mm. Thank you for explaining your scam to us and confirming that you know what you're doing is illegal. This will help plenty in your own prosecution. Very nice, scammer. Now let's see what happens once a scam opener transfers the call over to a closer, or as the scammers like to call it, a transfer from a border patrol officer to a U.S. Marshal agent. I'm going to connect you with the U.S. Marshal services, all right? They can prove yourself as an innocent person. Yeah. Yeah, well, Mr. Cannon, are, are we connected? Yeah, All right, and the location, and it should be a shell, like a gas station, right? Yes, right. And yes. uh, in the store, you will found a Bitcoin Depot ATM machine. All right. Do let me know once you at the front of the machine. I will uh, instruct you how you can uh, register yourself for generate your new social security.
This story of the Mexican cartel hacking you and stealing your identity is obviously fake, but it does actually happen that people get hacked and have their identity stolen. To protect my viewers from scammers and hackers, I have been working together with the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN, which is an application that hides your IP address and protects your data. Once you connect to one of the 5,600 NordVPN servers, your internet traffic will be encrypted behind a wall of next generation encryption, which makes it more difficult for third parties to steal your data and track your activity. Here, for example, we can see a scammer that is not using NordVPN. I can simply grab his real IP address from which I can start scanning for exploits in his network. I can get his location and even take away his internet connection for multiple hours if I wanted to. With NordVPN, this would not have been possible. I use NordVPN to protect myself and they're the longest running partner on the channel for a reason. Using a VPN online is essential and luckily it is also easy and affordable. You can get a special deal through my link in the description, nordvpn.com slash scambaiter, which will give you a huge discount on a two-year plan with four months for free. It is risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, so give it a try and protect yourself online by going to nordvpn.com slash scambaiter. Anyways, if I let the scammers go their way and don't interrupt a successful Bitcoin ATM sales pitch, the victim will first go to the bank and take all their money out in the form of cash to then drive to a cryptocurrency ATM machine where the scammers will send them a QR code to scan on the machine, force the victim to insert the cash bills into the machine and send the money to the scammers their own wallet. The Bitcoin Depot ATM machine will also gonna give you a Seat. Why I buy this Bitcoin? I am in a social security supplement, so I am not allowed to get any uh, mm -hmm. Bitcoin, any online. Yeah, money. as in as a government, because government never uh, like uh, uh, just believe on God, Mr. Cannon. Believe on God. Hello, hello. Of course, if I do witness one of these scams, I always try my best to step in and prevent people from losing their money. Hello? Yes, uh, sir, you are being scammed right now. The people you're on the phone with that were pretending to be with the police are trying to steal your money from you. They're not with the police. They're trying to steal your money. Oh, my God. And I am very worried. My wife very worried because... Uh... Yeah. They all made it up to steal your money. It's all nothing. Nothing is wrong with your social. There's no problem. Okay, so you can go home. You can keep the money for yourself. There's no issue. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sir. All right. Bye. Bye. In my weeks of surveillance, me and my team made sure to make it impossible for these people to steal any money, and it seemed like our efforts were starting to take a toll on the scam agents. What the fuck is this? Okay. My secret was dropped. They transferred the horror to New Day. They said that the customer was going to put the money in the machine. Sucker. Now he hung up on me. Man, this month I'm not lucky. I'm a fucking shit, bro. Pancho. Yesterday, same shit. Now I'm asking, what can I do? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I'm fucking shitty. I'm so... I'm demotivated, demot man. The scammers were also being demotivated by the 99.9% .9 of callers that do not fall for their bogus. It's border, man. Hello? This is US Customs and Border Protection. How are you doing today? Hello? I'm sorry, you don't hear me? I I'm sure it was. Okay. Are you, you Samara? Boy. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Are you stupid? You understand? Why are you talking like that? Then uh, kiss are you? my ass. Fuck you. Uh, I got to fuck somebody else, motherfucker. Hey, just uh, calm down. Just hey, calm down. Calm down. Get calm down. <laughs> Seeing all of these failed calls every day made me wonder why some people still do fall for this drug trafficking story. But as soon as somebody gets hooked for only one second, these scammers are very good at reeling them in with scare tactics. Do you know? I have all the information, banking information, man. The U.S. Marshals will uh, obviously raid your home. I have your address as well. Five nine first. Encino, California, is that correct? We are bombing your ass. <laughs> we are doing scam to just uh, pull all the funds from you. After watching this operation for multiple weeks, it was now time to put all the information that we had on paper and share the proof with the Zirakpur police force. In this testimony proof document, we included things like the pictures of the cameras, proof of location, proof of the border patrol scam, shift times, the agency's walk-in patterns, incriminating scam files, and finally, the scammers their crypto wallets. Now that we had all this proof, it was time for us to share it with the Punjab police, but as soon as we were ready to get into a meeting with them, we were met with a curveball thrown 
expanded our investigation. We found out that this call center was part of a massive operation that includes about 10 scam call centers in Punjab and Delhi running the same exact script. And we managed to spread our access to some of these other centers. One of these offices had cameras inside and the police wanted to focus on them as it would be easier to plan a raid and we could also build a more solid case. It even turned out that in the same exact building and also part of the same big operation, another YouTuber, Jim Browning, already had access to one office on the fifth floor and had been investigating the same group for several months. He has also made a video about them, his link will be in the description. Now it was going to be a group effort to shut these guys down. The only piece of proof we were missing was a statement from an actual victim of this scam group. And whilst we were waiting to collect this, all of a sudden we could see the scammers relocating, which completely discredited our proof document and ruined our plan of a raid. Jim Browning did have an insider go inside one of the new offices that they relocated to, which was the biggest one with about 40 agents. And the only thing we can do now to disrupt this operation is to scare this cameras by showing them footage of the inside of their own call center. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Officer Robert Daniels calling you from US Customs and Border Protection. Are you expecting any kind of shipment for yourself from Mexico? No. I request you to grab a pen and piece of paper so that you can write down some traditional information for your future reference. Like my name, my badge ID number, and my office address where I'm calling you from. Well, the thing is, um, I already know what office you are in. I'll show you actually. I'll show you the office. Just give me one second. Okay. I want to show you the office really quickly. Is that okay? Can you see the office? Hello. Sir, can you see your office now? Yeah, they can. <laughs> Police are on the way. <laughs> on every single computer in the office. All 40 computers in the office. Let me grab someone's reaction quick. Yes, pal, bhai. Yes, pal, bhai. Koi mazak kar rahe kya? After this, all 40 scammers shut down their machines and I have not seen any activity from this call center ever since. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe before clicking off. If you want to support my work, there's a Patreon and PayPal link in the description. I hope you guys have a nice day, stay safe, stay cautious, bye bye.